today's webinar, Enhance Your Program with the Infant Health Trio. The goal of today's webinar is threefold. First, we want you to understand the importance of using the included curriculum with these products, as it will enhance their impact. Secondly, we want you to understand the value of using all three simulators whenever possible. After all, discussion of drug abuse prevention often goes hand in hand with alcohol abuse prevention and child abuse prevention, and vice versa. Third, we want you to understand the impact of giving your audience time to react to these simulators, to really consider how they think and feel when they hear drug-affected baby cry, when they see the deformities of fetal alcohol syndrome baby, and when they see those lights go off in our shaken baby simulator. To accomplish that, we're going to spend the next 30 minutes reviewing what comes with each baby, how each one is used, review tips from seasoned users and curriculum highlights. We'll also share product support resources and take questions at the end. We'll start with our fetal alcohol syndrome baby, or FAS baby. Unlike our real care baby infant simulator, which many of you might be familiar with, our FAS baby is a non-electronic demonstrator designed to show what a baby could look like if the mother consumes alcohol while pregnant. In addition to the baby, this package includes a cloth diaper, a curriculum CD, and an ounce of prevention DVD. As you can see from the image on screen, this demonstrator provides a dramatic example of the risks of drinking while pregnant. We found it hits home with a variety of audiences, students and adults alike, in classrooms or clinics, anywhere a message about healthy pregnancies is valued. Now what makes FAS Baby so effective? Let's take a closer look at that simulator. Now, as you can see in front of me, I've got our FAS baby, and you can see right away it's a smaller size. It's actually 33% smaller than a typical infant. It's got a smaller head, smaller ears, widely set eyes, a flattened mid-face, an indistinct ridge between the nose and the mouth, and thinner lips as well. It's also got curved limbs and even webbed fingers. Now, again, we've modeled this infant to be as realistic as possible, and reflecting all possible effects of fetal alcohol syndrome. Of course, real FAS babies might have some of these or they might have all, but we wanted our simulator to be as realistic as possible. The curriculum, which meets common core standards, was designed to impress upon students, parents-to-be, caregivers, etc., the impacts of drinking while pregnant. We stress that no amount of alcohol is safe to consume during pregnancy, and we strive to highlight this point throughout the included one hour lesson and PowerPoint presentation by showing, as in the example on your screen, how easy it is for the developing fetus to ingest every substance the mother consumes, including alcohol. Now, our goal is to provide you with not only a memorable lesson about FAS, but a way to ensure your students remember the serious impacts drinking while pregnant can have on an infant. And this is where FAS baby comes in. While discussing how substances pass from the mother to child, we recommend introducing FAS baby, showing it to the class, and explaining the physical effects that you can see. Some educators even pass around a healthy infant simulator, like Real Care Baby, so the two can be prepared, can be compared, excuse me. A 17-minute ounce of prevention educational DVD can be viewed as needed. Additionally, we've included a pre-test and a post-test that we recommend administering before and after your discussion of FAS so you can gauge how much your audience learns from the lesson. The second part of our infant health trio is our drug-affected baby, or DA baby, which is designed to show what a baby could look and sound like if the mother uses drugs while pregnant. In addition to the baby, this package includes a cloth diaper, batteries, and a curriculum CD. Just like FAS baby, this simulator provides a dramatic example of the risks of drug use while pregnant. Unlike that demonstrator, however, DA baby has electronic components and can be turned on and off with a button in the back. What makes drug-affected baby so effective? Well, let's take a closer look at this simulator. We're just going to hop out to the webcam here.
Now I've got our drug affected baby here in front of me. And as you can see, we've modeled this infant to be as realistic as possible. Not only is it smaller in size, again, about 33% smaller than the typical infant, it's got a pained facial expression and clenched fists and additionally tiny limbs. As in addition to those physical abnormalities, it does have that button that you can turn it on and off in the back and it will, when you turn it on, elicit not only a pain to cry, but withdrawal tremors. And we've actually modeled that cry after a real infant affected by cocaine. I'm gonna turn it on now for just a moment so you can see the tremors and hear that cry. Now, of course, the included curriculum does include information on the impacts of drug use that you can't see, like cognitive disabilities and learning disabilities. Again, our goal is to provide you with a memorable, accurate lesson and a tool to help your audience truly understand why that lesson is so important. By eliciting empathy from the audience, Drug Affected Baby accomplishes this. While discussing the use of drugs while pregnant, we recommend introducing drug-affected baby and explaining the physical effects you can see. Turn the demonstrator on and talk about that high-pitched cry, which again is a real recording of an actual infant affected by cocaine. Talk about the tremors and ask your students why they think the infant is tremoring. Pass it around so everyone can have an opportunity to feel it. Here again, you may want to also pass around a healthy infant simulator like Real Care Baby so everyone can feel the difference between the two. Additionally, the one-hour curriculum stresses the many negative effects even a small amount of drug use while pregnant can cause, as you can see from the PowerPoint example shown on your screen now. As with FAS Baby, we stress that even a small amount of drug use is dangerous. If you'd like to have a discussion on different types of drugs, you'll also find materials in the curriculum to support that, as well as a pre-test and a post-test. The final product in our infant health trio is the Shagan Baby Simulator, which was created to help increase the awareness of injuries involved in shaken baby syndrome and help reduce incidents of shaken baby syndrome through education. It's also an electronic simulator and turns on and off using a button in the back. The first prototype of this simulator was actually developed by a nurse who at the time was the coordinator of Think First, a national education program to prevent brain injuries. She also happened to be a licensed practical nurse working with a large group of neurologists and base this simulator on medical research of what happens physically to a baby when it is shaken. When this simulator is shaken, affected sections of the brain light up to illustrate when and where brain damage has occurred. Let's take a moment now to demonstrate how this works. All right, I've got our shaken baby simulator in front of me now. It turns on using a button in the back. When you turn it on, you'll see the head light up showing that the brain is calibrating and it'll start to cry. We recommend giving it just a minute or two at least so your audience can really hear what that cry sounds like. And then holding it in front of you, gripping it around the ribs, you need to give it just a few quick firm shakes. And as you do, ideally sections of the brain, three of them will light up sequentially showing exactly where brain damage is occurring. We'll do that now so you can see what that looks like. So I'm going to turn it on using that button. And you can see it lighting up initially. And then that cry starts. And so you want to hold it in front of you and give it a few firm shakes. And you can see the back section lighting up. And now you can see the entire brain is lighting up, indicating severe brain damage. Now, using the shaken baby in class, um, we've designed the included curriculum to emphasize how easy it is to give in to your frustration, whether you're a parent or a caregiver, and how important it is to manage that frustration. The one-hour curriculum features statistics and facts about shaken baby syndrome, why babies are so vulnerable to shaking, and even techniques on how to soothe a crying infant and relieve stress. It actually puts students in the position to think about what they do if a baby in their care has been crying for three or four hours. What would they do? A plan of ma to manage frustration and a pledge not to shake, which are shown on your screen now, are also included in the curriculum. We highly recommend ending the lesson with these reflective pieces 
preferably after showing a video portraying shaken baby syndrome, like Elijah's story or the included DVD, When Babies Cry, which is about 10 minutes. Now for the fun part. Let's hear how instructors around the country are using our Infant Health Trio products in their programs and get some tips for your own use. Our first tip comes from a police sergeant who uses Shaken Baby in his child abuse prevention programs. He's found that incorporating role play into his presentations makes for an extremely effective message. For instance, every time he presents, he starts by pulling a couple out of the audience, weaving a narrative about them as new parents. While the audience is listening, he subtly turns Shaken Baby on and passes it to the female. When he begins to cry, he turns his attention to the male, peppering him with questions about paternity suits and child support. The audience by this point is fully immersed in the scenario when the sergeant turns back to the girl and asks her why she can't get her baby to stop crying. With the couple appropriately frustrated, he takes the baby and shakes it violently, pointing out how easy it is for that crying to get on someone's nerves. Of course, you can role play with anyone, students, adults, professionals, young and old, and can even invite a local law enforcement officer to your officer classroom. The more realistic the scenario, the more impactful it will be, as your audience understands how it takes only a moment of shaking to harm an infant. Our second tip comes from a Rotary Club in California that's discovered how beneficial it can be to partner with community service organizations. Doing so helps not only increase awareness, but can even result in funding for your program. This particular club raises money to purchase our Shaken Baby simulators, then donates them to programs involved in child abuse prevention like hospitals, schools, and teen pregnancy prevention programs. To raise funds for your own program, we recommend reaching out to service organizations in your area whose missions match your program's purpose to see if they might help sponsor your program. You could offer to present with them, like this club does, or even do a presentation for them to increase awareness and help them understand how your program works. Of course, nothing is more impactful than hearing someone's firsthand experience, and this is why our third tip is to make it personal. We've heard from many educators how vital it's been for them to seek out local, ser local service agencies and invite parents and caregivers of children with FAS, drug-addicted infants, or shaken baby syndrome-affected infants to their classrooms or clinics to tell firsthand what it's like to care for infants and children with these conditions. One of our customers sadly lost twin boys to shaken baby syndrome. When she combines her own story with our Shaken Baby Simulator, her audience has often moved to tears. They definitely will not forget her message. Local foster parent programs, support groups, and community and county agencies are a great start to seeking these resources out. Additionally, our Infant Health Trio can also help prepare your students for careers, and we all know how important it is for today's students to be college and career ready. All three simulators can be incorporated into health occupations classes or career exploration programs to give students hands-on experience treating infants with health conditions they might very well encounter in their future careers. In fact, several universities across the U.S. use these babies in their simulation labs to help nursing students get experience before going into real settings. These simulators are a great way to teach students what to look for and how to work with infants suffering from fetal alcohol syndrome, drug addiction, or the consequences of being shaken. National Child Abuse Prevention Month is this April, and such a month is a great opportunity to partner with local agencies and plan a child abuse prevention event. You can create a panel of child abuse prevention professionals like nurses, social workers, foster parents, and medical investigators, and even use these products and demonstrations. Such an event would be a great way to generate awareness of your program, which could also lead to funding and spread the message of healthy pregnancies. Before we end today's presentation, I'd like to take a moment to review a few product support resources we offer for our customers on our website. You can access our product support center online by navigating from our website to this product support button right here. From there, you'll click on the first option, Real Care Support. Scroll down just a bit and click on Products Others. Here you'll find a plethora of videos and other documents that support our Infant Health Trio such as our Shaken Baby demonstration, which is a one minute video that shows you that sequential order that the brain would light up when you shake it appropriately, drug affected demonstrator FAQs, Shaken Baby FAQs, and more. Of course, you can also contact our product support team anytime via email. Their contact information is on your screen now, product support at realityworks.com or by phone 1-800-830-1416, option two. 
We're now going to open up the webinar to any questions. If you haven't already, please type your question into the questions and answers panel of your Zoom webinar window. While everyone's taking the time to type in their questions, we do want to share two that our product support team hears quite often. The first one is what happens when I forget to turn off drug affected baby, which does happen. The drug affected baby's cry and tremors do follow a fixed schedule when activated. Once it's turned on, it will run on a cycle of crying and tremors for about 50 seconds, then pause for five seconds, then run on a cycle of crying and tremors for 25 seconds, and then pause. That cycle will repeat itself until the baby is turned off. And if it's accidentally left on or activates accidentally, like if it's bumped after being put away, the cries and tremors do stop after about 20 minutes. To reactivate the baby, simply toggle that switch to the off position and then turn it back on. Another question our product support team hears quite often is what to do if all the lights go on at the same time during a shaken baby demonstration. Well, as you saw when I demonstrated it, the first shaking event lit up the lights in the back of the um, infant's head, but the second one lit up the other two right away. And truly, all it takes is some practice. The more you shake, uh, the more you use the baby in demonstrations and shake it appropriately, the better your chances are of getting those three area, affected areas of the brain to light up sequentially. And of course, you can always go out to our product support site and watch that video to see exactly how it should be done. Well, thank you everyone who participated in today's webinar. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to contact us using the information on your screen now. In the meantime, this webinar will be posted on our website within a week and emailed to attendees along with a certificate of completion within the next few days as well. Thank you again and have a great rest of your day.